Hello everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Insurgents with Grover Games. So, last time we ended the, on this route here, we fought this last trainer here. Um, so it's been about a few days since I last played, and I decided to get everyone up to level 38. And that way, we got our new member, Fracture, on the team. We got an Axum and Evolve, so we're sitting pretty good here. And I went back and checked one of the oh, grottos or whatever you want to call them. And I ended up catching a Finnekin, is it? The, oh, what is it, starter? Kalos starter, I believe, the fire psychic fox or whatever. And I put that, it's in the box for now. And otherwise, I haven't caught anything else. I thought about switching Royal out for Waifu, but I don't think Waifu is going to be that useful. I think Royal's bulk is going to become it more in handy. So we're going to continue on to, through Route 5 here. Like this dude here. Also, we're broke because I spent all our money on po Great Balls and other stuff. So let's just... We're going to continue on our way through this route here. The leap, eh? Oh, uh, let's Dragon Dance against it. Okay, that's fine. You know what? Uh, see you, Nisha. Uh, my ability was suppressed. That's fine. I think two Dragon Dances will be more than enough. Axum should be able to take everything out pretty easily, I would think. Well, except for Crustle, but to be fair, he's got a high defense. Probe Pass. Well, let's Dragon Claw. Ooh. The other good news is, too, while training... Training, um... Bears, we finally got him to learn Earthquake, so he's going to be a real powerhouse now. And I was kind of looking out at my team earlier. That's a... That's a Lavatar. Hmm. <laughs> I might want one of those. Rare candy up there as well. So which way are we supposed to go, really? I'm going to fight this trainer here quick. You want, don't want to go to Samsara Cave. People have been scared to go there since as long as I can remember. There's something scary in there. Oh, and the dog's playing with his toy now. Um, no, let's give, let's give Girl Bat some time to shine. I was gonna set up, a, have Axum start setting up again, but I don't think we need to. Oh, come on, Girl Bat. Okay, that is going to be scary. Alright, good job, girl bat. Um. Yeah, we're not going to change it. take that chance. Let's go to bears. Alright, it's got to use a thunder type move. Oh, no, it didn't. Use acrobatics. I was expecting a thunder type move for sure. We'll have bears just crush this little mouse. Oh, Burfru. Okay. Oh. I'm guessing Furfru's got, what's that thing they got? It's like called fur coat or something? Where they like take half damage from, from all physical moves. Oh, you are just gonna be a giant pain in my butt, aren't you? You know what? I'll send out Killian. Ow! Why do I have a fe feeling Killian's gonna about to get murdered? Because she was. I should. I should have switched. That's my own fault. Jeepers! That Moga is. It's hard. Well, you know what? We're just gonna jog our happy butt back to town because I don't feel like wasting revive and several potions, especially since money is becoming a little bit of an issue. And that's that's not my fault. I mean, I made good investment choice in clothes and everything and dyeing my hair. Those are the most important things in game is accessorizing yourself. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. It's kind of weird Fracture doesn't really have an... Like, everyone else has an animation. Okay, now I can see his feet animating, but... From the side profile, it just... 
He's just following awkwardly, it looks like. So I wonder... Oh, what's that? Is that an Ultra? Oh, Ultra Ball. All right. Neat. My neck. Touch it. Feel my neck. Fucking weird, dude. That's fine. We'll just Dragon Dance here. Oh god, that hurt. Please tell me we're faster. Okay, we are. We were, I should say. Well, no, we weren't. Mow wow. Um. Let's go to Will. I'm trying to think, is this going to be fairy type in this gen? Let's work up and see if it's going to sucker punch again. Nope, it didn't sucker punch again. Oh, uh, let's... I wonder if this is fairy type. Let's try bone rush. And we missed with that. I missed again. Come on, Will. You're better than us. And we're just going to... There we go. That must have been a high roll or something. Dude, I'm not feeling your neck. Get, get away from me. I'm a child. Oh, uh, let's use up all our potions. There we go. All our potions are gone. We'll keep Axum up front. To enter Coral Town, you have to pay the fee of 14 billion Poke Dollars. Listen here, George. Why is everything critting me? What did Axum do to deserve this? But to be fair, Axum is kind of a big old softy too. Oh. Uh, come on, girl bat, finish this kicker tune. Uh Polyrath. Jeepers, everything is just. Come on, girl bat. Oh, come on, girl bat. Don't. Don't let me down. There you go. Damn right you're sorry, George. Is this the next town already? Okay. Well, we're going to go back and explore that cave before we explore this town, I think. Oh, it's the taxi driver. Oh, and, you know what? We'll explore this town, and then we'll go back and explore the cave. As soon as I figure out... What's this? The stock market is closed permanently. We are in the process of taking it down. Stock market? I want that TM. Pearl. Sweet. Oh. Huh. Funny. Rocks. Rock smash. Fine. You guys win this round. Great balls. Sweet. We need those. There's a cave there. Hey, pal. If you have a Burmian or Wormman, I'd be happy to change its form for you. Well, I don't have a, a either, so we're good, man. We straight, as we would say. And let's see. Got everyone healed now. No, let's explore it. Talk to everyone. The Razili Desert is an artist's paradise. The beautiful rocks in the sand and the rocks in the sand and the rocks... Actually, on second thought, forget I said anything at all. Good choice, man. You probably have friends and have a social life. Ha, huh, how lame. I got video games. Huh. I don't know how I feel about that right, statement right now. I saw a bunch of creeps in town earlier. They're all dressed in green hoods and headed for the desert. I wonder what that was all about. Is it Robin Hood and his merry men? I get a bit lonely living by... It gets a bit lonely living by myself. Well, at least I have my Pokemon to keep me company. Silver lining, bud. Good for you. What do you have to say? The old stark market... Start... Bleh. The old stark stock market shut down once the auger took over last year. It was disturbing. disturbing. Suddenly, the value of our currency took a huge dive. We still haven't recovered yet. Nobody really goes in there anymore. I would, but... Someone's blocking the door. 
My husband's been complaining ever since those scientists built that lab here. I don't see the problem. It's all in good fun. Anyone can join them. They even offer payment for doing short favors. It's not like they interfere with your venture at all either. Okay, I'm curious. Them scientists are taking over my coral town. Grr, that darn, their darn club and they're darn trying to educate my kids. It grinds my, uh, uh, metal. Never you mind, but I don't like them. Have you ever heard of the new moon weather condition? No, I'm actually curious. It's only been re recently discovered, but it's pretty neat. It's sort of like the opposite of sunny day. The sky just changes to a pitch black night. It, po it powers up dark moods and ghost type, but lowers fairies. Certain abilities get triggers when it happens. Okay, that's good to know. That must be the lab down there that we walked past earlier. Um, what do you have to say? Hey, take this. I'll help you on your adventure. Dust stone, sweet. What do you have to say? Coral is the economic stronghold of the region. That's why we have a stock market here. We also produce all the currency in Torin. I love to be able to fly over Torin region like Brendan Kid, that Brendan Kid, could back in Holland all those years ago. Who knows? Maybe sometime in the near future, I'll be able to do that. Did you know that Driftbloom drags the souls of children away? Or that Bennett is the spirit of throwing away dolls seeking revenge on its owner? Some Pokemon really are creepier and darker than they first appear. And you're living with a Driftbloom. You came from Route 5, yeah? There's a huge mess of caves in there called the Samsara Cave. I'd love to explore it myself, but you need waterfall to get in deep. Plus, I've heard horrifying stories about that place. People go in and never come out. And statues start appearing that look exactly like them. Okay, I'm curious, but I'm also kind of concerned because this ain't your typical Pokemon game. Have I talked to these people? Like those cracked rocks around the region, I heard boulders can be pushed by moves too. I've had success with Steamroller, Whirlwind, Bulldoze, but I'm sure there are tons more that work. Yeah, I wish I knew that stuff earlier. Is that a stock market in the corner of town? Who would do that? Who would consider running a stock market when Pokemon exists? Sheesh, of all things to have around here. I'm a lawyer. I do lawyer things. If you ever need someone to do lawyer things, I'm the lawyer I'm the lawyer for the job. I already talked to you. What do you have to say? My favorite Pokemon are the cold ones. Ice types can really cool me down when it's hot out. One of them was holding this today. I don't battle so many. Is it a never melt? Oh, icy rock. I was hoping it was a never melt ice. Have you been into Sam Sarah Cave? The bottom part is easy enough to venture into, but you need waterfall to explore the bulk of it. My favorite Pokemon is cast form. Now, before you laugh at me, yes, I know what it looks like. That doesn't make it less adorable, okay? Hey, you do you, man. Welcome to little old Coral Town. We don't have much, but what we have, we have to share. Seeing sets, okay. Coral Town was founded so that we could have access to rare Pokemon inside of Sam Sarah Cave. None of us know what it is yet, though. Oh god, that's loud. Welcome to the Scientist Club. If you're a Pokemon trainer, we'd love to have you give us a hand. Not all of us here are experienced battlers. I've been studying the, how Mega Stones work. It's possible one of the most interesting topics I've been seen. I'm trying to experiment and see if I can create a Mega Stone myself. Okay, that's interesting. Many of us knew Rekuo? 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 Before he became a cult leader. He was always a bit strange and never got along with his family. He was definitely a prodigy, though. I've been studying the eff effects of Delta Pokemon on their, on their ecosystems. It's quite an interesting field. The only hard part is finding these Deltas in the first place. Hi there. I'm the leader of the Scientist Club. If you ever wanted to see the behind the scenes, I'm sure we could find a project for you to help on. Well, what do you say? Do you want to? Ah, uh, sure, why not? Great, we're glad to have you join us. We actually have a mission you can start off with. Basically, uh, we have a lab we're running experiments on very ancient Pokemon. However, just a few hours ago, one of the Pokemon escaped and is now fleeing all, all, all free and all. It's complete havoc. Could you deal with them? Not being trainers, we don't dare get close to them. We still got plenty locked up, so even just catching them or making them faint would help us immensely. Would you be able to help us? Uh, sure. Thanks. Don't worry. We'll pay for well for this. 
So there's a little leap. Ammonite. What else do we got? Archon? Oh, Kabutops. So do I just gotta... I assume we gotta... F just go fight them. And I think... Bears is gonna be the man for the job. Because these all look like they're gonna be weak to steel. Oh. Can I not... Okay. I was like, can I not fight them? Oh. That's only level 5. Okay. I don't really care for the leap. Well, I shouldn't say that. Archon is definitely... He's a good Pokemon, but his ability to feed us kind of destroys him in the end. As I say, there should be another... Uh, an Ammonite. Let's just finish that off quick. Part of me kind of wants to get an Ammonite. But then again, on the other hand... Nah, we, we don't need it. There's another Archon. Can't... With the speed up, I wonder if it's have given... The, excuse me, is what's giving me issues trying to interact with these Pokemon. Alright, you know what, we'll fight... We'll try to capture this little leap. We'll just throw one Great Ball at it. That's all I'm gonna throw. Uh, all right, one more, I guess. You know what? I kind of want a little leap now. Seriously? Uh, you... All right, I'll paralyze it, and then I'll try to... The reason I kind of want a little leap, because it's... I know it can, has a chance to be a good defensive mon, and what I feel like we're lacking for our team right now is a good defensive mon. But I'm not going to waste too much on it. I already feel like I wasted too much already. Especially since it's a level 5 and I can't seem to catch it with a great ball. And I just realized that I should have thrown an Axum. Yeah, let's get Axum out here. We'll get, we'll get Axum to false swipe it. I keep forgetting Axum has false swipe. To be honest with you. All right. The size of the seaweed making a tentacle sway and suspicious prey that come too close. Uh, we're just going to name it Lily because it's a sea lily. But I do want to... Kabutops has a strange metal device attached to its back. I'm curious now. Let's bring out Royal. We're going to paralyze it. Making the predictions. Aqua Jet. That looked interesting. So Kabutops was actually one of my favorite Gen 1 Pokemons. And I'm not... I'm not going to say no to maybe using it. But right now we're gonna we're gonna false swipe it down to one health. There we go. That's fine. Uh I would I think he would be somewhat heavy. We might as well try it. Uh we'll throw one great ball first and then we'll go to an ultra ball. Once swam underwater to hunt for prey, it was apparently evolving from being a water dweller to living on land, as evident from the change in the night skills and legs. Um, what do I want to call this Kabutops? 
<laughs> Name him Blade. Very good drill, I know. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, just go through bears there. That could boot. Kaboot Tops was the cause of all our problems. It escaped its enclosure and was trying to free the rest of them. Let me just remove this machine from it. There. I think we could chalk that experiment up to a failure. Never mind. We can deal with the cleanup from here. Thanks for your help, Gigi. Take this as a reward. Hell yeah. We'll call on you in your poker gear if we need anything else from you. $3,000, baby. Definitely need the money. So, let's take a look at this Kabutops quick. I don't think I'll use them. I can't... The worst part is I want to, but I know I probably shouldn't. Aw, oh, he's timid! That sucks. He's got Autrojack, Mudshot, and... Okay. Just being timid really sucks for him, though. I was thinking that he, there was going to be something else special about him with that when it said it had a device on its back, but I guess not. So we took care, helped the scientist out. Let's go back and check out this cave here. Ah, Luxray. Bears. Take care of it. Another Luxray. Well, you know what? Take care of it. Finish it. Probably the easiest XP he'll get all day. Now, let's go in here. Okay. It's a strain. Pains. It's a statue. Oh. I can't read right now. It's a statue. Painstakingly detailed. Wow, that's exquisite craftsmanship. Uh, let's save here. Let's go instant Lapras. Another statue there. Grab a great ball. Oh, look at all these statues. Was well, there no Pokemon encounters in here? Those birds are... What? What's with the... Those birds are strange looking. What? And what's with those rocks here? Okay. There's nothing special about them. I... So, this, this must be a special patch of grass down here. I mean, this might not be a bad place to try and train... Whatchamacallit for a little bit. Um. Oh, uh, Killian. Just to get some defense EVs on her. But the real question is, is I wonder if I already got all her fully invested in EVs to begin with. Elmanchuk. Graveler. There's gotta be something else down here. We'll, we'll try one more encounter. That one statue's got a weird thing on it. I just noticed. Come on, one more encounter. You know you want to give me something. Okay, yep, we're done. We're done here. That? Yeah. Oh, okay, so you don't need to run through the grass. That's good to know. It's a statue of a Pidgeot, Pidgeot, but it looks different. The metal is cold and hard to the touch. There's a small button. Yes. I pushed the button. Okay. Let's... You know, we'll put Royal up front first. I don't know what this is. It's a Delta Pidgey. Okay, well, let's just thunder wave your butt. We'll bring Axum out. 
Oh! It knows Dragon Breath! Okay. I see how you are gonna be. Cockatrice Pokemon. Delta species, but Rune Blade. It uses its piercing gaze to petrify enemies and then perches on top of their immo- Okay, that is actually cool. Oh, I need a name. I have an idea, but I gotta go to the internet here to get. Uh, let's see. Let's name him Gold. Gold Beak. Well, that was cool. All right, so I think. That one stone still has me a little stump yet. But I think this is where we're going to wrap it, wrap up the episode today, everyone. I'd like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe so you can stay up to date all the latest Pokemon Insurgents. I'm going to go back and check out the, the Delta Pidgey. And we're going to... I don't know if we'll use it yet or not. We'll have to... It's definitely a dragon type, I think. But we'll have to go from there and maybe use... Switching out some members, but I, I'm feeling pretty attached to the team right now. I, above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day, and most of all, thanks for watching.